Hello Libras. I'm going to get right into the reading. So it's just whatever wants to come out. Whatever the storyline is here. We'll see what happens. Hidden truth. Vulnerability. Receptivity. Pride and stubbornness. Dreams, visions, telepathy. Reconciliation. Someone's being guided back to you. And they're, they're, your spirit guides are just telepathic. You guys might be very psychically connected. They could be having dreams or visions about you. But they're being guided back to reconcile with you. I feel like this is somebody... I feel like this hidden truth is that they do love you. I feel like this is somebody who might have presented themselves in kind of a king or queen of swords energy but you you know that they're actually more a king or queen of cups type it's like this hidden truth is that you have they have a soft spot for you basically is what i'm getting here they have you have a side of them that most people don't get to see um i feel like they have kind of a mask on with most people this could be a businessman or businesswoman too or it could be somebody who's in like like government work or somebody who just has a very high stress job and so I feel like they don't really get much of a chance to have fun. They don't get much of a chance to have to relax. So they just get kind of the energy of this person having a lot of responsibility, a lot of stress on their shoulders. So it's like this person might be having to take care of elderly parents or maybe they have kids or it's like they have this, you know, high stress job. Um, I just feel like they don't really have the benefit. They don't have the luxury of really being able to rest and relax and have fun and do things that are just for them. Like they don't really, it's like they don't really get to to show their soft side. But I feel like that side comes out with you. Um, I feel like they might have done or said something too that they didn't mean when they were stressed out. They might have had a lot on their plate and they might have been really hasty and just said something in the moment because they got overwhelmed. But I get more of a also I also get more of a general energy of just them feeling very vulnerable to you, feeling very emotional with you, but they're kind of regretting not having shown you that. It's almost like somebody who like who wants to tell you they love you or they want to express emotion. They want it's like they wanted to show you that soft side. They wanted to 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 let you know how they feel about you but it's like they chose to be prideful and stubborn instead they chose to not communicate or I feel I get more of the energy of miscommunication than lack of communication it's more like somebody who it's like they expressed emotion but it's like it came out as anger or it came out as um like they just covered it up somehow they how do I explain this energy that I'm channeling It's like, let's say that they're protective of you and they just want to make sure you're safe. That might have come off as them being controlling. They might have expressed it in the wrong ways. Or it's like they wanted to express emotion and tell you that they love you. But instead, it's like they just pick fights or they nitpick things or they they don't tell you how they really feel. Like they come off kind of cold or detached. Mental instability. They could have mental instability that they need to deal with. Fear of commitment. Truth and clarity. Yeah, see, this truth is coming out because the truth is, I just feel a lot of regret from this person. I'm getting that song. What is that song? Um, oh, I forget who it's by. Is it Crossfade? I think it might be Crossfade, but it's what I really meant to say is I'm sorry for the way I am. I never meant to be so cold to you. I never really wanted you to see the screwed up side of me. That's kind of the energy I get. It's like the secret is that they have mutual feelings. The emotional depth is there. This could be somebody, how do I explain this energy? It's like somebody who's a little bit macho in a way. It's like they want to be confident. They want to be strong. And sometimes it's almost like this person doesn't care who they have to walk over to get to the top. Or they just, they, it's like they want to have integrity and be a good person. And I'm not saying that they're not a good person, but it just feels like somebody who's kind of misguided. Like somebody who's, like they're just, they're not in touch with their emotions or they suppress their emotions too much. But again, that could have, that could have something to do with just having too many responsibilities too many people relying on them, just not feeling like they have, you know, enough time to rest, to have fun, to do things that are genuinely just for them. 
So I don't feel like this person is really like a bad person. If anything, I would say this person probably needs to put themselves more uh, first more often because it just it does kind of seem like somebody who's like self-sacrificing. I think we were getting a similar well, it was a different storyline, but we were getting a similar energy in the Capricorn reading as well. Um, there's like a past life storyline there as well, which it might be might be similar. Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn for some of you. But uh, anyway, because I just get this kind of energy from this person, like this is them where they're not like, they're not like mean, they're not like abusive or anything, but they're just kind of guarded. They're kind of just a little bit. It's like they want to be in control of things. They want to be the alpha, but they don't. It seems like they don't know how to be the alpha almost like they're trying to be in control, but it's it's like they don't really. It's like they're they're doing things only whether they know how, basically. I feel like for some, I feel like they wanted you to you they wanted you for some of them it's like they wanted you to see them as strong and protective and assertive, but it might have come off the wrong way. That's and that's not for everybody, but for some of you it's like they wanted to take care of things. They wanted to take care of you. But I just feel like it, it. it's like you might have felt controlled or you felt like like your needs weren't being met in some way. For others, I just feel like it was a lack of emotional expression. Somebody that was just kind of cold, like they were trying to be strong. They might have been trying to present themselves, like I said, as like a strong person. You know what I mean? Like they might have been trying to, maybe they were afraid that if they opened up to you, they just would get emotional and they just wouldn't stop opening up but it's, it's like this person regrets it this person wishes that they had just let their guard down because it's like they felt emotional with you it wasn't like they felt it, it's like they they tried to appear emotionally detached for some reason but they weren't actually emotionally detached you know what I mean it's like if you guys were hanging out and watching movies together like they felt all the romantic feelings they felt those deep feelings of love even if they did kind of have this facial expression you know kind of you know, resting bitch face a little bit, like not really expressing too much emotion, kind of just trying to be strong and independent and, and, you know, trying to be tough or whatever. I see, I think that you saw through that for the most part, though. But I just feel like they wish that they, they might have thought too that you wanted that. And then later on, they discovered that's not actually what you wanted. Like they might have thought that maybe you would Maybe you wanted what you couldn't have or that maybe you, uh, you know, liked people that were kind of cold and detached. Maybe they thought, I don't know, for some reason they might have just, I felt like part of it was them wanting to put on a certain image with you. And I feel like later on they discovered the truth and they realized that that's not actually what you wanted. You wanted them to be gentle and romantic and empathetic. It's kind of like they lost sight of that because they were so focused on impressing you and being what they thought that you wanted basically you know and, and turns out and you might want them to be you know alpha you might want them to be like in that strong assertive dominant energy but it's like you want them to be in that energy but you also want them to be romantic and emotional and sensitive too and and let you in and be open and honest with you it's like i feel like so many people these days lack that balance they either have a really strong masculine side or a really strong feminine side and you might have been turned on by this male or female. You might have been turned on by this person's, you know, um, assertiveness, their strength, their independence. But it, it's like they, the feminine energy was missing. And you're like, okay, that's great. Like that's, that's you know, I, I like those qualities, but I also need the romance. I also need the empathy and the gentleness and somebody who's going to take my mental health seriously and somebody who's you know, going to protect me and going to let me in and be vulnerable enough to cry in front of me and let me know how they feel about me, you know? Like, a true alpha has a good balance of both masculine and feminine qualities. They have the best of both worlds. They know when to be assertive and get shit done, and they know when to relax and be gentle and vulnerable and romantic and open. You know, they're able to do both. They, they have both energies, both masculine and feminine energies inside them. They have that balance. And I feel like this person had kind of a negative view of what it means to be like 
alpha or whatever you want to call it, you know, like they felt like it was just, it's like, it was just like 90 or hundred percent masculine energy for them. And so you were like, yeah, like this, this is not my definition of a true alpha. Like this isn't like, where's the feminine energy? Where's, where's the other side of things? Where's that balance that you're lacking, you know? Um, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like they, they got some clarity on it at some point though. And they wish they were more romantic with you. They wish they had been more gentle. Some of them, I feel like prioritized work over you. Like this could be a businessman or woman that was just, you know, constantly working. And I just feel like they really regret being prideful and stubborn and putting on an image. It's like they really wish that they had expressed more emotion with you. Anger, miscommunication, submissive, weak willed, loyalty, stability, vows. Anger, miscommunication. Let's see here. Divine intervention, synchronicity. There could be, for some, you might have certain kinks that this person tried to... They thought, I, I just get the energy of them doing something or being a certain way that they thought that you were into. And they, it turns out that you were not into that at all. It's like they were doing something to impress you. And now they kind of regret it because you're like, you weren't into that, whatever it was. You know what I mean? Because for some, I feel like it might be something sexually here with like, you know, submissive or dominant or whatever. It's like there might have been something here where you're like, wait, what the hell? Like, I'm not into that stuff, you know? But they, they regret just not finding out. They, they, they regret making assumptions, basically, with whatever that is. But the divine is coming through to show them this new perspective, listening, understanding. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. It's like they're kind of trying to have a redo. They're like, they're showing them, they're opening their mind up and they're like, wait a minute, no, like you... If you would have just been yourself, this per like you would have been all over this person. But because they were being someone that they weren't, you got a bad first impression or um, there's just something that they did that they thought that you would be into that you weren't, whatever it was. And now there's this regret. She was in their words wisely planning their approach, happiness, warmth, light. Yeah, like this is almost like the sun card in the tarot deck. It's like they're wanting to come through. They are wanting to, they're planning another approach. It's like they're overthinking it a bit, overanalyzing self-sabotage, uncertainty, publicity, social media. Choose the path. Jealousy, betrayal, conflict, isolation, loneliness, emptiness cold guarded distrusting yeah for some i feel like you might have just told this person off because they were being a douchebag so it might be one of those people who thought that like like i said they thought that their definition of being an alpha was being super assertive and masculine and this would not be somebody who's abusive i just want to put this out there i'm not if this person was toxic or abusive like you have every reason to just turn away from this person and not deal with it like i'm not trying to excuse anyone being abusive but this wouldn't have been that energy. This wouldn't, th this isn't somebody who's, if this is your storyline, I'm not getting the energy of abuse. I'm getting more of the energy of somebody who just wanted to make a good first impression and they ended up being the opposite of what you're actually into. But their true self is someone that you would actually resonate with. Does that make sense? So it's almost like if their true self is silly and weird and out there, they pretended to be, you know, a businessman or businesswoman type and they, they were kind of reserved and you might've been kind of bored with them. You might've been like, you might've given it like one or two dates and you're like, oh, never mind. Like, I don't want to do like, this is boring. This isn't for me. And if they had just been their true self, like you would have given this, you would have seen the soul connection there. You know, you would have recognized it, but because they weren't their true self, you might have just passed this up. You might have just been like, you know, this person isn't who I thought they were, or I don't think there's much of a connection there. Like they didn't show you their true self enough. Um, or like I said, it could be somebody who's, who's you know, trying to be, you know, the alpha or trying to be the this strong, independent, you know, fierce, whatever, like they're, they're trying to put on a certain image and it, it's like you actually just wanted you might have liked that energy and been turned on by it but like I said they were missing the other side of things they were they didn't have that balance that you're looking for in a person they didn't have that 
there was no feminine energy. There was none of that romantic, vulnerable, emotional energy that that balance. You know, both sides are equally powerful, and they kind of you know you know people need to have a, a good balance of both. I mean, it's normal for one for people to like lean towards one or the other, but anyway. Um, but it might be one of those one of those situations where they're like, okay, she he or she likes protective people, so I'm gonna be protective. But they like they overdid it and they made you feel like you were being controlled, or you know, just maybe something that you said that just stuck with them and they they tried to they tried to be something that they're not, basically. And now I feel like they're kind of afraid that you're just gonna tell them off if they come back around because you're it's like you're cold, guarded, distrusting. It's like you're it just feels like maybe you're not having it now. You know what I mean? Like you're just not like they're kind of just afraid that you're not really so open to this now. End of a pattern cycle, breakthrough, freedom, shyness, fear of rejection, spying. Yeah, there's just this fear of sense of belonging, home, safe space. Domination control. Yeah, there's just like this just this fear of, of being pushed away of being rejected and again if this person was abusive like I said don't go for it but this this wouldn't be that kind of energy this would be more somebody who just came off the wrong way but you you know deep down they're they're actually they were trying to impress you basically somebody came off the wrong way because they were trying to impress you that's what I get um if this resonates for you, please leave a comment below, even just leaving a heart comment. I really like hearing your stories, but you know, just any comment at all like really does help because it gets me back in the YouTube algorithm. It gets YouTube to promote my videos again, so it really helps me continue to make these videos because it's there's more, you know, public recognition and I'm able to make money off YouTube if I can get these videos out there. So it will help me make more content if you guys are able to engage. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want a private reading as well, my email is right below in the description box. That email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. Thank you guys for watching.